Wonderman looking at the scoreboard. Can't believe his team is tied with the Texas Rustlers at 22 apiece. Almost midway through the fourth and barring regulation final period. And now once again, we've got Brian Krebs breaking out for the Texas Rustlers along with Craig Fisher. Texas, every time in this game, they would catch up. The enforcers would retake them. Normally, we see Texas at that point be getting the fold, but it's anything but. Two points for Krebs and Fisher, two more points. Four points, now they cut it off. It is 26-22, Texas Rustlers. Unbelievable. Well, these guys, we saw it with the women, Ken. They seem to be gaining uh, enthusiasm and confidence by the moment. Even the cheerleaders are staying pumped. They're not forcing a lot of that enthusiasm. The Rustlers look good, Ken. Can the Rustlers hold on? We'll find out as we'll be back. Once again, the Rustlers lead this one by four with perhaps time for only two or possibly three jams. A major upset in the making here in the World Skating League. But we have seen Texas in this position before, and they have never been able to hold on. We'll find out, but this so far in the second half, it's been a whole different wrestler team. Marcus Abrera now, 5'8", 160 out of Pembroke Pond, Florida, break three for the Texas wrestlers on the verge of a storied upset here in the WSL. Can the New York enforcers refocus? So far, they have been unable to. You see Mark Gamato, captain of the enforcers, number 20, rotates to the back of the pack. Gamato's diabolical as they come. Remember the last thing New York can afford is to let Texas get any more points. And right there, Gamato very quickly with the elbow dispatches Abrera. Now Abrera back up again, chasing on the pack. One of the enforcer jammers, in fact, both unable to even come around. Texas has been dividing and conquering throughout this whole game, and right now it's working to perfection. Again, here comes Abrera, again, D'Amato sends him right into the rail, but the key here is the enforcers while keeping Texas off the scoreboard. Again, no points for New York. Well, and sometimes, Ken, these enforcers seem to be their own worst enemy. I think the frustration on behalf of Mark D'Amato uh, both the foul pearl lineup and the sisters are suffering. He didn't send out a jammer, but now he puts a jammer helmet on. Maybe he wanted to do the old bait and switch and prepare himself to go out and bring home a victory for the enforcers. Look at this. Mark D'Amato and Big oh, Jim wow. Washington putting the jammer helmets on. They have got to pick up four points to see Brian Gamble give the big wick to Jim Washington as Washington tries to gain. Washington almost reaching out, expecting a whip from D'Amato. D'Amato didn't look back in time, but the rest of the five-borough lineup doing a great job of keeping tight Texas all bottled up. It's all up to D'Amato and Washington as they come around. They're down by four points. And now Texas kick drops back. Brian Gallagher, their most experienced veteran. Can he contain both Washington and D'Amato? They've got to get around. Gallagher now using his speed. The enforcers and blockers have got Texas trapped in. But right now it's all up to Gallagher 44. Washington and D'Amato as we are winding down. Can Texas do it? D'Amato hammers away at Gallagher. Gallagher keeps to his feet. Oh, Time runs out. The Rutzlers have won it. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, the Phoenix that was trying to be pulled from the ashes by the Falfurro lineup that sent out both D'Amato and Washington as jammers weren't able to get it done. They just didn't have the speed to score the points, Gad. And these Texas Rutzlers have won. Look at Mark D'Amato. He can't believe it. The Rutzler fans absolutely overjoyed. The wrestlers said they wanted to make a statement regarding the upcoming Founders Cup tournament. <laughs> boy, did they make a statement. Buddy, you always said, don't sell Texas short. Boy, were you correct. You got it. And I'll tell you what, Gallagher did his job. He stayed right in the thick of the whole thing, kept those two big boys back, and I'll tell you what, I'm proud of him. That was working. Hawk, if I had been sitting here, I wouldn't have believed it. Well, I still don't believe it. We counted these, these wrestlers out for dead. They were down nine to nothing after the first period, Ken. They came back, closed the gap. We always talk about them being good at sometimes. All, the t all of a sudden, they get terrible. They put it together, won a game. Good for the wrestlers. Woo! I never thought I'd say this, but let's go to Broadway. Danny Wolf with a victorious Texas wrestler. What an upset, the miracle at Universal. Brian Gallagher, amazing upset, the upset of all time. Oh, yeah. What blocking on that last jam by yourself? I saw I had sacked by some. I knew we were ahead. We had to win it. So I had to throw myself out there. Hopefully the rest of them worked. And the whole play worked perfectly. It was strategy all the way. And Talisa, 
Talisa, a great game for you. You neutralized Heather Gunnan. Huge upset. You've got to be tickled to death. Oh, I am so happy. We did it the right way, the good way. She's shooting blanks this game, baby. Well, a giant upset. The Texas wrestlers were known as the laughing stock of the World Skating League, but I don't think anymore. The Founders Cup tournament is coming up, and this team will be taken seriously. I promise you, ask the enforcers. Back to you, Hawk and Ken. The wrestlers win it. We're all out of time. We'll see you next week. So long, everybody.